Hi there, I'm John Lebensold for Killer PHP, and today what we're going to be doing is looking at how we can perform some more advanced operations with MySQL. So this is going to be probably a 10 part video where we're going to be starting with just looking at what joins are in a relational database. Uh, from there we're going to be looking at how we can create constraints to make sure that we have integrity in our data. Then we're going to look at what many people who design databases call one-to-many and then many-to-many -many, and then creating views. We're going to look at timestamps. We're going to look up back. We're going to look at how we can do backups and restore data and we're also going to take a little bit of a peek into the MySQL search engine. So to start off today what I'm going to do is just look at joins with you and before we even get there I'm going to have to introduce some of the tools I'm going to be working with today. As you've probably noticed, I'm using the uh, I'm using a Mac. However, all this information and all these different tools have equivalencies on a PC, uh, whether you're using Linux or you're using Windows. Uh, I have a very simple text editor here. I, it's called BB Edit. There's a, an equivalent free version called Text Wrangler, which you can download if you're on a Mac. I'm also using uh, a a MAMP stack which is to say essentially I have uh, essentially I have MySQL, Apache uh, and PHP running on top of Mac OS X. There are equivalent versions of this stack of open source free software. Uh, usually if you look up XAMPP, X-A-M-P-P, you can probably get yourself set up on pretty much any platform. Uh, again, this is free to download. And lastly, we're going to be doing a lot of work with the terminal. And we're going to be working on the command line because we're dealing with advanced topics. We're going to want to have to, you know, we're going to want to interface directly with MySQL. And using the terminal is, at the end of the day, the fastest and the simplest way of actually doing that. So on one hand, I'm going to be creating SQL scripts that we're going to work with back and forth so that we don't lose our place. And on the other hand, we're going to actually be interfacing with MySQL at a command line level. Um, you'll also notice that I have PHP my admin open, just to show you that you know yes, we can actually double check things using PHP my admin. So with all of that, I say let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is just show you a bit of some of the tools we're going to be using with on the command line. The first one is MySQL, and because I'm on a Mac and because I am working specifically with the MAMP version of MySQL, I am going to have to be a little more explicit with my connection to MySQL. Now I already have the MAMP server running, which you can see right here. So I know it's running, but I want to actually use MySQL's command line tool uh, to perform all the operations I need to perform. Just a note about SQL in general. Now a while back Stefan Mishuk put together an excellent beginner introduction to MySQL with the focus of being able to run uh, SQL queries from the from PHP. Mainly if you wanted to you know create records, update records, and delete records. The goal of this video is really to kind of broaden that knowledge and make you kind of more comfortable with how uh, how to do kind of complex queries with SQL, really use the relational aspects of a relational database like MySQL where you're actually using different tables and you're relating data from one place to another. And lastly, if you do get into ob you know um, object relational mapping frameworks, ORMs as they're called, where you're not even dealing with SQL anymore, you've got some other package in PHP like Propel or Doctrine that's doing all that for you, that you can actually debug that code and understand a little bit of what is being generated for you on the fly. So you won't be totally at a loss. So in order to access my MySQL, data, my MySQL database, I'm going to have to actually use the client and in this case it's sitting in the MAMP folder under library under bin for binary and it's going to be MySQL. So if I just hit enter then it's going to show me it's going to log me in and everything looks okay. However something that I need to kind of check is if I go show databases 
I'm going to notice that there's actually nothing there. Whereas if I go back to, to my PHP, my admin, you'll see that I have a whole bunch of different databases that I use for development purposes on my local machine. So in order to make sure that I'm properly accessing my database, I'm going to specify a username and a password. And in this case, it's going to be, we're going to use dash u, which is the uh, username flag, and then password is root. Now this is the default username and password for MAMP. And I'm just going to hit enter. So now if I say show databases, semicolon, and hit enter, I'm going to get all the databases that I'm getting here. So you can see the same thing in one place as well as the other. Now the first thing I want to do is actually create a database that we can work with. And then from there we'll be building up our examples together. So I'm going to create a database, kphp, with a character set of utf8 and a collation of utf8 underscore general underscore ci. Now let me just explain that for a minute. Uh, essentially the create database is pretty obvious. We're creating a database. It's going to be called kphp. The character set being UTF-8 is just a default. In other words, we want to make sure that all the text that's being stored in our database is going to be encoded using the UTF-8 uh, encoding structure, which means that if we have accents and we have Spanish characters or French characters, that they're going to be rendered properly. The other thing here is the UTF-8 underscore general under CI, and this is how the ordering of those uh, characters in the character map. This is a pretty standard collation, so it's pretty much recommended. Uh, the CI at the end stands for case insensitive, and the UTF-8 is just because it's a UTF-8 collation. So I'm just going to finish that off with a semicolon. And now if I go show databases, you should see that there is now a KPHP database. So I'm just going to quit. And this time I'm going to log in and I'm going to specify my kphp database at the command line by just adding kphp at the end. Now if I go show tables, I should see nothing in there. But basically now I'm in the, I'm in the client and I'm also in that database. So now we're working within the kphp database.